Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors, enjoying Oha soup without breaking the bank. This is a recipe guide and so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. To start here I have some stock fish which I'm going to soak with salt water and hot water to rinse off every insect in it. I like to sit for like 30 minutes until I want to use it. For now, I'm going to leave it to soak in this hot water and salt water. Here I have a video from my past video showing how to use the um, concentrated palm oil which I've removed from the can, put into a bowl, pour an equal amount of water into this bowl, turn it together so that the fragments will stay underneath the bowl. So I'm going to do this and I like to sit until I'm ready to use it. If you don't want to use this palm oil extract, you can also use the ordinary palm oil. It's also okay. I will be using cocoa yam as a thickener for this oha soup and so this cocoa yam has already been cleaned which I'm going to boil until it is soft. Here I have some beef and towel which I'm seasoning with some maggi, thyme, ginger, salt, cameroon, pepper. I'm going to add water to this and allow it to cook until it's 75% half cooked. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Please check it out. I want to thank all my subscribers for all your support, your comments and your likes and your sharing these videos. Thank you so, so much. And if you're a new subscriber to this kitchen, you are welcome. Thank you guys. I love you. So I'm just going to let this to sit to cook until it's halfway done while I start preparing the other ingredients. And here I have some uziza leaf which has already been cleaned and washed. So I'm going to cut this uziza into very tiny slices and keep it aside. While the protein is still cooking, I will be picking the oha leaf, which is the main ingredient of this recipe. It has already been washed in salt water and I will use my fingertips to shred the leaf and put it aside. So right here I have some scotch bonnets, the yellow and the red and right here the cocoa yam is already cooked. So I'm going to peel this cocoa yam which I'm going to mix together into a blender and I'm going to blend this into a very smooth paste and keep it aside until ready for use. And now that the protein is halfway done, I will be adding the already washed stockfish to this. And in addition to this, I'm going to add the palm kernel extract water to this pot. Be mindful not to put the bottom of this into this pot. Throw it away. And in addition to this, I'm going to add some little water to this and allow it to cook for some time. Now that the soup has come up to a boiling pot, I'm now going to add some dry fish, already cleaned and deboned dry fish to this. And to this, I will be adding some crayfish. And also, I'm adding a little chicken seasoning to this. And now I'm going to add a spoon of oguri to give it a banger. Yeah. Don't fail to use your oguri. And now I'm going to add the cocoa yam and yellow pepper mix to this. Everything is not coming out, but I'll be using my hand behind the sink to poke out all the, to bring out all the cocoa yam paste into the pot. And after doing that, I will now leave 
the cocoyam to melt. And now that the cocoyam has melted, I'm now going to add the uziza leaf to this soup and give it a spin. I like to cook for two minutes. This oha soup is best eaten with fufu. Honestly, you will enjoy it more. But if you don't want fufu, you can go ahead with any swallow of your choice. It's been two minutes now. I'm going to add the oha leaf to this. I'm going to give it a very good turn. And I'll cook this oha for just like two minutes because the heat of the soup is going to overcook the vegetable so we shouldn't allow the vegetable to overcook so one two minutes it's okay it's been two minutes now and you can see the the soup is not too watery and it's not too thick everything it's okay at this point you can check for seasoning if the salt is okay I food lovers our oha soup is ready to eat with any swallow of your choice please guys leave me a comment on the next dish you want to see me make please subscribe for more affordable and easy recipes like this like leave me a very good comment and share with your friends and your family please support your girl support your babe support your sis thank you so much and i will see you in the next video Cheers guys.